nutritionize, nutritize. <laughs> uh, yeah, feed yourself. Is nutritize a word? No, of course it's not a word. It should be though. Gosh, this is the one Greg used. I can't even move it. Ugh. So it's the morning of the day after I started the fast. Do I want coffee? Kind of, but I can't have that. Do I want some cacao? Yep, can't have that though. But what I can have is water, and so that's what I'll be enjoying. And when I'm craving something warm, because you know me, I love warm beverages. When I'm craving something warm, I will be doing warm water with Himalayan salt. And it's amazing how that really uh, satisfies your like hunger. And if you have a little bit of a headache, like I remember the first fast I did, I was getting a little bit of a headache and it was from an electrolyte imbalance, um, lack of electrolytes, and that helped me. So let's see what happens this time around. But either way, I'm gonna need that salt particularly in the summer and it's humid and we'll be going out for a little walk. Um, the sweat that comes out of your body, I need to replenish that um, with my electrolyte intake. So yeah. Cheers. Just came back from a walk. That's gonna be my exercise for today. I didn't go crazy or anything and did some moderate walking. Stayed in like zone two area, but um, I don't wanna like overly exert myself cause my body is trying to heal and cleanse itself. So I think tomorrow, depending on how I feel, I'll do light weights um, so that I can keep muscle mass. And now I'm gonna go make some Himalayan salt with warm water. <laughs> Yes, that's what we're gonna have now. It's really good. I'm definitely feeling more tired and a little bit more lethargic than I would like to, but that could be because I need some electrolytes. So I'm gonna do a teaspoon of this in my hot water and hopefully that'll help rejuvenate me. Um, I also think because it's like the first day I might like be psyching myself out a little bit because I'm embarking on this 72 hour fast, three days of water only. Um, and I'm in the kitchen right now, but you know, it doesn't really bother me that much. I'm not like craving food or anything. Um, and it's 12 now, I finished eating at five. Okay, so that's a 19 hour fast so far. Um, the 18 mark is important, so I've jumped that hurdle, which is good. Um, and I'm gonna have some of this, and I think it's gonna help because I have work to do. I have to edit a vlog um, and do some other work for exploring. So I think that I will, have some strength back. Let's hope. All right, so half a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. I think Greg said I can have between two and four tablespoons a day um, when I'm on this water fast. But like I said, because it's only been eight, 19 hours, um, I still have electrolytes and some salt in me from yesterday's day of eating. So I'm not gonna go crazy with the salt. I think I'll do two teaspoons, sorry, two tablespoons max today. So technically I could have one teaspoon right now, but I'm just gonna cut that in half and see how I feel after half a tablespoon, oh, half a teaspoon. 
and then we'll see from there. Isn't this so pretty? Ugh, I love that. Love Himalayan salt. Okay, just gonna... the day. Yeah, it's not uncommon for me to sometimes eat around this time, just when I'm doing time-restricted eating. Um, but when we were in the park this morning, I was like, I was telling Greg that it just kind of, it, it almost feels a little bit harder. Um, I'm gonna move this plant out of the way because the light. Oh, no, it's just kind of overcast. Um, but I was just telling Greg that I'm, I think I'm psyching myself out a little bit, which I shouldn't be, because I did this already once before, a little bit different. I did like a, I did a three day fast mimetic, well two and a half day fast mimetic, and then two and a half of just water. But it'll be interesting to see how three days all in water goes. Mm, that tastes good. Ugh, like I'm like craving this right now. You know what I mean? Ugh, tastes so good. So it's kind of like imagine your favorite soup or your favorite warm beverage. Something that really makes you feel all warm and cozy and just that really nice feeling of being sated and you know, you're not like hungry or anything. That's what drinking salt warm water on a water fast is like. I don't know how to explain it otherwise. going to go and enjoy that and like I said I have work to do so I want to make use of this valuable time to be ultra productive because it's amazing how much time we spend on food prep groceries eating the food cleaning up after eating like it's just like multiple hours of a day but um, it's nice to take advantage of this time to just have like you know periods of time, blocks of time where you can get into flow state. Extend release magnesium, two of these a day during the fast. So I did not give an update of the end of, let's see, day one and a half um, because I had a really bad migraine and I wasn't feeling well at all. Um, and I'm not sure if it was because of um, like a caffeine withdrawal, even though I drank cacao and decaf coffee, but still. Um, or if it was because of the fast, if I maybe drank too much water, I think I had like maybe three liters of water, I don't know. So you just, you don't really know. Um, <laughs> but I had a really good night of sleep. I made sure I was in bed at like, I don't know, 7 p.m. Um, and yeah, I got full hours and now I am past the halfway mark. So I, I think I have 32 more hours of fasting. Um, in terms of hunger levels, I'm actually okay. I don't, I just walked into the kitchen, like I don't feel hungry. Um, I'll feel like a little bit hungry, just like here and there, but then it goes away very quickly. So let's see 
today on day, I guess, two and a half. Um, we'll see how I feel. Um, but I'm trying to figure out the correct water balance because I don't want to deplete my, like, the nutrients that I still have from my food two days ago. Um, and make sure that I'm not, like, wiping out my electrolyte. Um, so we'll have to see what to do about that. But I think I'm gonna do, I think today I'm allowed to have, so yesterday I only had one, I only had one tablespoon of Himalayan pink salt mixed into my warm water. So that was twice, two times of a half a teaspoon. Um, but today I think I can have up to four. I'm gonna check that with Greg. Between two tablespoons and four tablespoons. So uh, we'll see. Yeah, it'll be interesting. So, so far I'm feeling good on day two. I'm gonna drink my water. Um, I'm going to, it's funny because I'm actually in the middle of editing some cooking type vlogs and it so far it hasn't bothered me. Like we have some delicious recipes that we wanna share with you all and one of the ones that I'm editing right now, totally fine, don't. Really, we're, we're talking about food with Greg, like what we're gonna make um, after this fast. And yeah, it just, it doesn't bother me. Like I could probably walk over and open the fridge right now and be okay. So yeah, it's interesting. It's more so I'm, I'm afraid of getting another like migraine or headache. That's what I'm a little bit afraid of. Um, oh yeah, so okay, I feel a little bit hungry <laughs> right now, but then it goes away. So I am going to get my day started. I probably will, yeah, so I'm gonna have to do a light workout um, because I don't want to be catabolic. I don't want the fact that I'm not eating anything for three days, I don't want my body to then start eating away at the muscle that I've been building. Instead, I want it to go and get the fat in my body um, and yeah, turn that into ketones and energy and all of that. You need some type of resistance training during this. That is very important if you don't want your body to eat away at the muscle, and I certainly don't want that. Um, and so, yeah, that was a long-winded way of saying I'm gonna do a workout, and I'll probably show you what that looks like. Parts of it, yeah. Okay, I got my little um, training for today. I'm just gonna do some light weights. Exercise is really important during this time because that's really what powers on the switch. That's what powers up the fasting. Um, so if I'm at a five right now, sorry plant, if I'm at a five right now without having exercise during this yet, then exercising low key but with weights will put me at like an eight. And I want the benefits, that's the whole point of doing this. So I have to push myself, even though I do not want to work out. Like, let me be very clear. The most I want to do is like do a walk in the park or just outside. Um, I don't want to work out, but I know that I need to. My body needs this. So we're gonna do some, well, I'll just show you. I just came up with this. Some deadlifts, some chest press, some lunges. Um, with weights, abs, with shoulder press, goblet squat, biceps, and fly um, tricep kickback. So we'll see, we'll see. And this is a little bit aspirational, maybe. We'll see. You'll find out in just a moment. And I don't want to wake him up because, you know, he's like well into four and a half days of this. Um, it's very difficult as one would expect. But I'm very happy to report that I was able to get some work done. Yay, rendered. Um, and that I have way more energy than I did yesterday. Um, and so that's really amazing uh, to know and it's a great feeling. And I think it has to do with my having done a workout. I really think so. It's just, it's amazing how those two things, doing a workout and feeling good, even when fasted, can really positively impact each other. So that's really interesting. I'm being very careful about not over drinking water. We don't want to get a headache. All right, back to work.
I thought. So I just noticed something, I just noticed something very funny. When I'm fasting, I start watching cooking shows and cooking videos on YouTube. So right now I'm watching how to make one of my tur favorite Turkish meals, which is in Turkish is called marjimet köftesi. And essentially it's these like balls of lentils, super healthy, super delicious. And I'm looking at what to do so that I can make that for me and Greg. <laughs> it's just kind of funny because I don't normally do this. But for some reason, this is the second time around we're doing prolonged fasting. Um, and I'm just fascinated by making like healthy foods. Uh, and that's how I found Downshiftology like the first time around. So I'm gonna make a bunch of her recipes. Like just wait for it. Um, but I just thought that was funny so I wanted to share it with you all. So anyone else out there when they're fasting that they have these like, it's not so much a food craving, like I'm not hungry right now. I'm not hungry, I'm sitting in the kitchen, like I'm not hungry, which is awesome, because that would make it a lot harder to be doing this fast. But I'm just like really interested in cooking all of a sudden and I'm not a cook at all. Like I'm very novice, very basic. Um, my mom's an excellent cook. Greg, my husband, is an excellent cook, and so I've just sort of been enjoying the meals that they make. Um, very happy about that. But now I'm starting to build an interest, which I'm also happy about because I think it's high time for me to, you know, get interested in that area just because I love food so much, especially healthy food, and I want it to taste good, I want it to be healthy, I want it to have, you know, the nutrients that I need. Um, and so really being involved in cooking just, it makes sense. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna get back to watching this video. I'll see you guys later. evening walk on now I'm in day three of my fast so tomorrow afternoon is when I get to break my fast and I am stoked about it let me tell you stoked today was actually pretty good for me I felt energetic I edited a video I did some other work and felt high energy so that was awesome to feel that way Uh, the sunset is quite spectacular this evening. Have a look. Can you see those colors? Ah, oh, it's just incredible. So, so, so very beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm just like marveling at the gorgeousness. Look at that. All right, Greg's way ahead of me. I need to catch up to him. <laughs> Speed walk. This is how fast I walk in New York, but when I'm not in New York, I don't walk this fast. Greg, runners on your left. To get out of the way. and something that I think we tend to forget 
is that fasting has been around for ages and ages and it's something that you could probably find it's something that you find in every culture many spiritual backgrounds do this on a regular basis and it's something that's embedded in that culture so from that standpoint it's nothing new right but you know it's still like one of these terms that people right now are not that familiar with, especially when you get into prolonged fasting, like a five day or a seven day. But um, now that things like intermittent fasting and time restricted eating are more and more on people's radars, I think we'll start to see, you know, a shift. And I think more and more people will decide to do this for their health, for their metabolic health, for their mind, for their bodies. Um, because when you look at all the benefits that the research is showing, it's just like, why wouldn't we be doing this? And that's what I was reminding myself during like the difficult parts of this. You know, when I'm feeling lethargic or I have a headache or a migraine or I'm, you know, hungry or any other like discomfort, um, I remind myself of the why, like, why am I doing this? Why is this important to me? Because at any moment I can choose to opt out, right? But it's really about creating a goal for yourself, knowing your why, and then sticking to it and honoring it, honoring yourself for honoring it. So I think that's something to think about as well if you're considering doing something like this. The sunset is so spectacular right now. Oh my goodness. When we first moved here and we came to this park and it was winter and we were like, no one's here. Does anyone even live in this town? Um, and in the summer, it's just filled with people. Um, and, you know, they have sports events, they have yoga, community yoga, and yoga classes, and exercise classes, and all that stuff. And it's just so different from what we moved into in the winter. Um, I have to say, I am looking forward to it being quiet again in the winter, um, because that way I can feel more comfortable walking around. I mean, we bring our masks here um, and we keep our distance, but it's nice when you kind of have it all to yourself. Do you know what I mean? I, I like that.